All right, man, so it's kind of crazy because last year I did this exact video almost to the date, February 12th, 2023. I made five WWE Ultimate Editions that Mattel needs to make this year. So we were referring to last year. Last February, I did make a video, this exact video, and I talked about five Ultimate Editions I want to see from Mattel. And on my list, I had a 2001 Kurt Angle, which we ended up getting. I had a one-night stand Rob Van Dam, which we ended up getting. I had a Roddy Piper on there that we ended up getting. So I batted 60%. So I got got three out of five correctly. So hopefully I'll have some luck in today's video predicting these Ultimate Editions or just talking about five Ultimate Editions that I want to see from Mattel in 2024, man. So today we're going to be diving into five Ultimate Editions for 2024. Here's my creative pitch for all five of these figures. Now last year I put Bonesaw Macho Man from Spider-Man as the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, something I'd like to see. Maybe that'll happen in 2024, but I took him off the list. And then I also had a Backlash 2004 Randy Orton on there, which would also be an amazing Ultimate Edition, but I took him off the list as well. This is a brand new refreshed list of Ultimate Editions that I want to see in 2024, man. So let's shut the hell up and dive into my official list here, man. And I want to hear your thoughts on my list, and I'd love to know your list down in the comment section below. So starting out first, man, we do have Rhea Ripley. I mean, I feel like this one is a, it's just an automatic. If, if we don't get a Rhea Ripley Ultimate Edition this year, I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. I don't know how we won't have a Rhea Ripley Ultimate Edition this year, and it pretty much books itself, right? I mean, the Oscar figure that we got in Ultimate Edition Series number 20, was unbelievable. I think it's truly the best women's figure that Mattel's ever done, and I think that they can carry that momentum into a Rhea Ripley and the rest of our women's collections. You know, the women's figures have gotten outstanding. They used to be so terrible compared to nowadays, and so Rhea Ripley's on there, so I have a few different bullet points. Now, I didn't go into, like, huge depth about the conversation of what I want to see from these figures, but for Rhea Ripley, I did put some noted details in there. First of all, the only thing that I'm really requesting out of this Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley is to have all of the tattoos. I know we're getting her in a WWE Elite Series 110 and it's a beautiful figure. I love the white gear. She's got most of her tattoos. It's a fantastic looking figure. One of the figures that I'm most looking forward to this year but I want to see the sternum tattoo and the rest of the tattoos, man. The arm tattoos, the leg tattoos, all of it, man. It really makes it more toyetic and it just looks like a, a much better figure in my opinion. So I think all of the tattoos including the sternum tattoo are really like the only things that I want out of this figure but also I want to see the new Women's Championship with the white strap, with the new plates, everything going on. We know we're getting it in WWE Elite Series 109 with Seth Rollins, the new male version of the World Championship with the, you know, with the updated championship. But Rhea Ripley, her new Ultimate Edition that I predict we'll get in 2024. This, these are not in any particular order, but I did have Rhea Ripley first up on my list for Ultimates that I want to see in 2024. Number two, this is one that we've talked about at nauseum, I feel like, on the channel, and one that I, I just feel like it has to come true, man. And also, the Demon needs an update. Yes, sir, we're talking about WrestleMania 39 Finn Balor in the Demon gear in his Hell in a Cell matchup with Edge, which was just uh, Jesus in heaven, man. That that matchup pissed me off. I was on the floor for that matchup right there. I was like right there within reach. Not within reach, but you know what I mean. I was right there, and that pissed me off that he lost that matchup. But they could make up for it by re-releasing him here. We already have a first Ultimate Edition Finn Balor Demon, which was a great figure, but that was so long ago, and it, there's so many different ports choices they could update him with. I think the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins torso is the way to go. You know, have the ripped up torso. You could put all the body paint on there. Have the nice trunks. You have the damn beard and the nice face paint, man. So I have a pissed off head sculpt, a yelling head sculpt, a like gritting head sculpt, you know, pissed off about to attack you style head sculpt. You have the kendo stick. I think that would make for a great additional accessory. We also have his entrance gear, which, yeah, I think you must have the entrance gear if you're talking about the Demon Finn Balor. I just feel like that's kind of an automatic. And then interchangeable hands, which isn't the biggest deal. So you get three interchangeable heads, entrance gear, kendo stick, and hands. I feel like, you know, he doesn't come with a championship. He doesn't really come with, I guess you could do the waist wrap thing again, but... Yeah, I think that's a serviceable Ultimate Edition. I, I just don't see how you don't make that happen, man. It's time. It's definitely time before Finn Balor leaves the company or we don't get another Demon for a long time, man. Make this Demon Ultimate Edition Finn Balor would be a great base for any other Demons we want to make. And it's just it just makes the most sense, man. That's That's got to be made, man. Rhea Ripley, number one. My next one is Finn Balor, WrestleMania 39, Demon King. It kind of writes itself. Number three, this one has to be made. I just don't see it. I, I remember pitching this to Mattel 
could tell when there were rumors of CM Punk coming back, man. CM Punk, Money in the Bank 2011. You're pretty much taking the Elite 16 CM Punk and revamping it into Ultimate Edition form. This is just, it just writes itself, man. It's so easy. I don't know how you couldn't make this happen, man. The white Punk shirt, three brand new CM Punk head sculpts. I think the blowing the kiss has to be a thing, man. Give us a blowing kiss head sculpt. I think a smirking head sculpt for CM Punk. And then a pissed off or yelling head sculpt would be the way to go. On top of that, I think we should get first time in the line GTS hands. I don't think we've ever really gotten a really good GTS style hand, you know, similar to the AEW Supreme hands that they gave him. You could come with GTS hands, he'd have Mike holding hands, he'd have fisted hands, and he'd also come with the WWE Championship. Now, also, hands that would make the most sense would be the wide open, you can't see me, Finn Balor entrance style hands that they always give those guys. But that may be pushing it a little bit. Like, you you obviously have to come with the Spinner Championship. You have to have the iconic shirt. Maybe you only get two interchangeable head sculpts. But the Blowing Kiss one would be money. I don't see how they couldn't make that one. The GTS hands have to be a thing. Beings that we get Ultimate Edition, Butterfly Articulation, you have to have the GTS hands. So I definitely have that. But that's my number three, man. CM Punk, Money in the Bank 2011. I think we're going to see that WrestleMania weekend in a render image. Maybe goes up for pre-order on MattelCreations.com. Maybe they're going to pump it into a main line. I don't know. But I do believe we're actually going to to see that figure this year, but that's my third figure on my five ultimates for 2024 list. Next up on my list, man, I have Wrestling Machine or 2005-2006 Kurt Angle, man. This is an easy one. I want to say I could be ridiculous. Maybe I'm making stuff up in my head, man, but I want to say that they said something about the next time they make a Kurt Angle or they're working on a possible new Kurt Angle, and they said they weren't going to do the cloth singlet, cloth singlet for the figure this time. They're going to actually do a sculpted singlet, so I don't know why those words would be uttered if there wasn't one in the workings. And I would say that they would do a singleted Kurt Angle or a sculpted singlet Kurt Angle figure. It would be bald. He'd be pissed off. He'd have a hell yelling head sculpt. He'd have a pissed off bald Kurt Angle. He'd come with his gold medals. He'd come I, I mean, to make it a little bit different I would love to see him in the boots again. I don't think they're going to do the boots again. Unfortunately unless they give us a brand new Ultimate Edition shoe, shoe mold instead of the Usos or John Cena style shoe mold I do believe he's probably going to come with the Ultimate Edition Cena or Uso shoe mold. I think they're probably going to give him those, the Ultimate Edition shoes, unfortunately. I'd love to see a new mold, but I, I'm not holding my breath on that one until I actually see it. But they could give him the shoes, make it a little bit different there. He'd come with the World Heavyweight Championship. There's a slew of different gears you could, you could pick for Kurt Angle, so... There's kind of just pick your poison there. There's a lot of different things you could do there. But yeah, I think Wrestling Machine Kurt Angle, it kind of writes itself, man. You know, a bald Kurt Angle, they don't really give us enough Kurt Angle figures. Like we've gotten, certainly we've gotten some. We have entrance greats. We have the Milko Mania 3-pack. We have the Ultimate Edition. You have the God Awful Shield ringside exclusive, of course. However, I do believe he is on a brand new deal or he's at least he's got to be on some sort of a deal, right? So I think they could also include him in the Legends line, man. I know that doesn't really have anything to do with Ultimate Editions, but uh, maybe a Legends Ultimate. Maybe that's that's where they could plug it in into Target, have a Legends Ultimate Edition or have a Legends Elite. I mean, there's just so many Kurt Angle figures that we haven't seen, and there's so many looks they could do for him in moments. So Kurt Angle's definitely one that I want to see, and I have him here, man. Wrestling Machine Kurt Angle as an Ultimate Edition in 2024. Don't really care where it's stuck in. I just think that this is one that should be made for 2024. And the last bit of Ultimate Editions that we're going to talk about here, man, my number five or my last on the list. Again, these are in no particular order. I just kind of named off five because... That was kind of the topic of last year's video, so I figured make five more, and I, you know, I try to put some realism in here. I think these are things that are absolutely possible, and so I went finally with a ringside exclusive. If you guys don't know, ringside has done, in the last two years, they had, in 2023, we had the Usos as a tag team Ultimate Edition two-pack, and then this year, we are getting the NWO. We're getting the Outsiders with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, so I think that in 2024, we're going to see a render image, or possibly before the end of the year. Who knows? I just think that probably at San Diego Comic-Con or WrestleMania, they'll announce a new ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition 2-pack, maybe for 2025. And my 2-pack Ultimate Edition is going to be the Dudley Boys, man. I think this would be a really awesome 2-pack. I think the Steiners would also be really cool as well. But with the whole Steiner situation and everything going on over there, who the hell knows if we're ever going to get Steiners again. Rick Steiner and Elite 104 maybe the only time we ever get that. So with that being said, man, I did change it to the Dudley Boys. I think the Dudley Boys are under a new deal, and I think they would make for awesome Ultimate Editions, especially with given the amount of time they have to work on these. Like, not announcing them until WrestleMania or not announcing them until San Diego Comic-Con is easy money because they have so much time to do so. And I do believe they are on brand new Legends deals, man. So I think that an Ultimate Edition 2-pack here with Devon and Bubba Ray, you could have What's Up head sculpts, which is phenomenal. You could do the wide-eyed head sculpts. You could go pissed off. 
give them the World Tag Team Championships. Doesn't matter the company. Maybe you can give us two sets of belts. I don't know exactly. Cloth shirts on these guys. You could do any of the camo gears. It really doesn't matter. I know we got them in Elite Series 45, of course, but you could do molded t-shirt sculpts on the Ultimate Edition torso. And then you could do cloth good shirts to go over those to kind of give you like a two-in-one attire right there. So you could go with like the 3D Buzzsaw style shirts or the jersey. And then you take those off, and then they have other shirts molded underneath for a two-in-one look, if you get what I'm saying. You give them their goggles or their glasses. They got to have at least one smashable table or breakaway table. I would say that each guy comes with one, like their WWE Elite 45 set. So then you could have, you know, two breakaway tables for this set. You know, I would say give us the red camo, but we did get those in Elite 45, but it has been so long that they could do that again. But you could do the blue camo, the gray camo, hell, even the Ruthless Aggression era style, like yellow camo would be cool as well. But Devon and Bubba Ray would be a fantastic Ultimate Edition 2-pack, man. I think that would be really cool. Of course, like, I mean, I'd love the fantasy, but like, obviously, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are in AEW. Edge and Christian are in AEW. I would love to see all of those guys under one umbrella and release like one massive crowdfunding project or something like that. I think like a TLC crowdfunding project would be incredible with all those guys as Ultimate Editions. Maybe one day that'll come to fruition if all those guys come back to WWE. But for this year, man, I think the Dudley Boys in an Ultimate Edition 2-pack is definitely possible. I just see that, you know, maybe something like that could happen. I don't know exactly, but I figured this was a pretty good way to round up my list and complete my five Ultimate Editions I want to see in 2024 and give you guys a ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition 2-pack to go alongside the Usos and Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Kind of keep that theme going there. I would love to see like a Battles or a Rivalries 2-pack as, as well for Ultimate Editions, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see that in 2024 as well, but that completes my five Ultimates for 2024. Nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up my video. I do want to give a huge shout out to a few different patron member new signups, man. We had Raccoon Boy and Aust Jansen who did sign up the other day, man. A huge shout out to those guys for joining on to the Patreon, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, and a huge shout out to the the rest of our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. But I think that about does it for my video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your list down in the comment section below. And of course, react to my list if you will. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.